Now, while I of course have mentioned this fragrance in a few top 10 lists that I've done throughout the years, I've never actually dedicated a full review to it and I've really been in the mood for it. It actually happens to be my scent of the day. In today's episode, I'm very excited to be giving you my thoughts on Harrods Pour Homme by Raja Parfum. I'm excited to get on with this video, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I talk to you a little bit about Harrods Pour Homme, an exclusive to Harrods in London, of course, I do want to start things off by saying that if you are a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit that bell icon so you could be notified whenever I do upload future videos to the channel and I upload on a daily basis. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you took something of value from today's episode. Now, here is a fragrance that came out in 2019 and of course it possesses that characteristically green color that is found with Harrods and the Harrods logo. And there are a few other brands that have made Harrods exclusives throughout the years and they all kind of possess that dark green hue. And of course, with the bedazzled cap here, it's really nice to see these green crystals on it. And it definitely is a fragrance that conveys class and elegance and refinement and poise and sophistication. And that is something that the brand of Roja Parfum is pretty much synonymous with. As you can tell, I love my Roja Parfum fragrances. Don't worry, I know the shelf is a little curved, but I did reinforce it from the bottom. There's no fear of anything happening. I get at least one comment per video of somebody who is very concerned that this shelf is gonna collapse. Don't worry, I took care of it. But here we have a very upscale, luxurious fragrance. And this has a lot of citrus ingredients in it. There's bitter orange, there's lemon, there's bergamot. So it does open up very, very fresh. And then of course it has some greener elements in the dry down, namely oak moss and vetiver and patchouli. There's a touch of violet and geranium in the heart as well. I find this to be a very unique composition and I can't really compare it to any other fragrance. Not even anything that Roja Parfum has made in his brand. So so I'm excited to give you my detailed thoughts on the smell. Let's start things off with a quick look at the presentation. So as soon as you spray this fragrance on, you are going to pick up on the abundance of citrus that is in here. Now I know the two notes that really get the spotlight in the opening are the bitter orange and the juniper berry. Now juniper is a little woodsy, it's a little astringent, and of course with the bitter orange it conveys that bitterness, but it's still done in such a fresh and refreshing manner. So you have the bitter orange, you have the lemon, you have the bergamot, you have a touch of lime in here as well. And actually the more I smell it and the more I think about it, I feel like I'm getting more of a combination of lemon and lime because it does have that tart quality. And I think a lot of people see the adjective bitter when it comes to bitter orange and they say, oh, that's what I'm smelling, yes. But in fact, I am getting a lot of that juicy, tart lemon and lime combination in the opening, but it has some contrasting elements in here, which is really interesting to see. So despite the fact that it has that lemon and lime and bitter orange in the opening, you also have this green undercurrent that is comprised of the vetiver and the patchouli and the oak moss. And it is the oak moss that adds that touch of distinction and class to the fragrance. Whenever I smell oak moss in a fragrance, whether it be in a green fragrance like Diaghilev or if I smell vetiver and Raja Parfum vetiver, those are notes, these green notes that I'm referring to, they do carry this level of professionalism about them. And so this is the type of fragrance that you put on when you want to smell like a boss, you want to smell like the CEO of a major company, you want to smell like you're truly dressed to the nines and you want to convey your best aura. And Harrods does that for me. Diaghilev does that for me. Danger does that for me. Scandal is also a bit on the citrusy side of things and I personally love wearing that one with that sort of green citrus combination. And here you have something that is kind of along those same lines but it is done in a much different way. Now the geranium is more rosy than minty in this fragrance and the violet also conveys a very clean tone to the fragrance. Now I think there's something that is working in conjunction with the bitter orange and I would be remiss if I didn't mention the molecule Amber Rome. So it's musky, 
it's citrusy, it's ambery, it's a little animalic as well. Nothing animalic about this fragrance too. There are some fragrances that lean animalic from the brand like Amber Oud is one of them and there are a few other offerings, some of which that I haven't really covered on the channel, maybe in the future I will. But here you have a fragrance that is warm, ambery, green, there's a smoothness about it, there's cashmere on in here as well. There's a bunch of really resolute citrus in the opening and I'm surprised because in my experience most fragrances the citrus lasts 15-20 minutes and it's gone. Here two hours into the fragrance you still get that tart quality from the citrus in the opening. So I don't know if it's the fixatives that are being used to really create this enduring factor in the fragrance but it smells classy through and through and it's almost like a warmer, more ambery, more green version of Oceania. So if you've tried Oceania by Roja Parfum, that is the only fragrance that I can remotely compare this one to because this fragrance is unique in so many different ways. I've had this in my collection now for a couple of years and let me say that I am so happy that I ended up acquiring it because I have been wearing it a lot. It is kind of hard to tell because I have so many fragrances from so many brands, but when I wear a fragrance three, four, five, six days in a row. That's saying that I truly love it. And this is one of those fragrances that I truly love. Of course, I have so many favorites from the brand, Diaghilev, Enigma, Danger, Scandal. There's so many that I truly love, A Midsummer Dream. But this is one that really takes the cake. Harrods Pour Homme is a very classy and refined fragrance. If you're a fan of citrus ambers with uh, an undercurrent of green, please check this one out. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, this is a unique fragrance, all things considered, can compare it to any other fragrance that I've tried from any brand, both designer and niche. Overall smell, it has a lot of appealing, very easy to get along with ingredients, the citrus, the juniper, that woodsy vibe, the green, earthy, masculine, sophisticated qualities. And of course, it does say pour homme on the bottle and the box. And so you would imagine that this is marketed for men. In terms of the longevity, 10 plus hours on my skin, the projection, like I said, that citrus is really loud, projected beyond an arm's length for like an hour and a half to two hours. It didn't start to sit closer to the skin, and I mean an elbow's length, until about hour six or seven, and then right around hour nine or 10, it became a skin scent. In terms of the versatility, it is marketed for men, and it does have a lot of those characteristically masculine and traditionally masculine ingredients. You know my philosophy, I think if you like a fragrance, go ahead and wear it, don't look at the label or anything like that, but it does have a lot of these traditionally masculine ingredients in here. I think this is absolutely a dressed up formal scenario, suit and tie fragrance when you really want to convey your finest. And I do think that this one will cater to the sentiments and the taste of somebody who's a little bit more experienced in dealing with fragrances, perhaps somebody who's a little bit older as opposed to a high school kid or somebody in their early 20s. And I'm in my mid 30s, so this fragrance is perfect for me. And then in terms of seasons, this one is great for all year round. It has a lot of citrus in here, so I love wearing it in the summertime, but it also has those green long lasting and during notes and the performance is really good. So I enjoy wearing this one in the cold weather as well. And in terms of the presentation for a Harrods exclusive, they knocked it out of the park. I'm sure Harrods is overjoyed with this creation and I'm sure it does very well for them. My final verdict on this fragrance, if you are a fan of citrusy, ambery fragrances with a green undertone that smells classy, masculine, and sophisticated, if you want a professional smelling fragrance, great for a formal scenario, look at Harrods Pour Homme by Roja Parfum. I think you'll love it. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this review. That was my review of Harrods Pour Homme by Raja Parfum. If you own or have tried this fragrance or any fragrance from the brand, let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to support the channel by subscribing to it. If you took anything of value from this video, it would really mean a lot to me. It's absolutely free to you and it would mean so much to me. Thank you for doing so. Hit the bell icon so you could be notified whenever I do upload these daily videos and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It would really mean a lot to me. Thanks for watching. Love you all. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.